Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. I want to show you how to open a file for input in C++. Now keep in mind that uh, there are several ways to do this. Um, usually when we show this, we, we show you how to do it in the main routine and, and all, all inside a, um, a simple way of doing it in a main routine. I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to show you the way you should do it. You should have a function that actually opens the file folder for you and passes a file pointer back. And this is the prototype of the function right here. I'm using uh, CLion as the uh, uh, compiler. Uh, it's a void return type. I call it get file pointer. And I pass in an ifstream object reference. That's the and sign right there is the reference. And I'm going to call it ifptr for input file pointer. Let's go down and actually take a look at this. And here is the file itself. I'm passing in the file pointer, and I'm using uh, C++11, which allows me to use a st string for a file name, which is a great advantage. Uh, if you're using an earlier version of C++, uh, you have to use a character array, which you know I never did really like. So I ask it to input a file name, and then I read the file name into the string, and then I try to open it. Uh, and this is the standard way to open a file. You put the file uh, pointer in here, dot open, and it tries to open the file. And then we call a function called isOpen. And if it's not open, then there's some type of error opening the file for whatever reason. It says file not found, please re-enter. And I'll ask them to read in the file name again, and I will attempt to open. And this while loop will continue going until I get a good file read in. Um, that is then passed back by reference to the called routine. Now, um, some people try to return the type of uh, ifstream pointer. In other words, they try to do something like this. I'll type it in to show you ifstream. And, and they try to do something like that. And it doesn't really work too well. There, there, you can be done. It's just a little, a little difficult. This is a very, very straightforward way of doing it. As I said before, there's several ways to do it. Some people have preferences. This is mine. I found a, a way to do it. It works, and it works quite well. Uh, so that will open the file. Here we have a simple routine, main routine to uh, test it. I declare an ifstream object of input, and uh, note that to make this all work, I have to include fstream as a library. Then I call the uh, uh, function get file pointer and I pass an input file. This and percent in front of it is the uh, something C line puts in there. It's syntactically it's correct. You don't have to put it though. You just say input file. And it only comes back from that function call if there was a, a, a good file read. I don't do anything with the file. I'll show you that in a subsequent video. I print out hello world and then I close the file itself. So let's go ahead and build this. Build the project and we'll run it. <coughs> comes up here and says input a file name. I'll, I'll type in a file I know is out there like this dot dat. It says uh, file not found, please enter. I'll do another one. Um, uh, another dot dat. Okay, that's not found. Now I'm going to do uh, road dot dat. I know that one's there. It's a, a poem by Robert Frost. And hello world, the file was found. So that is a very, very simple way to open a file for uh, reading input in C++. I'm going to put this on my YouTube video. If you like it, press like and uh, subscribe to my channel. And now the next video is on how to actually read that file a character at a time, uh, a token at a time, and a line by a time. On to that one.